Solve the equation. Square root of 2 plus square root of x plus 2 equals x. What shall we do? Of course, substitution. Because this square root inside the big square root does really bother us. So we can just let a be equal to this annoying square root of x plus 2. So what do we get then? We get square root of 2 plus a equals x. So x equals square root of a plus 2. So you can see that these two equations have the same form. So we can square the both sides. We get a squared equals x plus 2 and x squared equals a plus 2. Now subtract the second equation from the first one. Then we can get a squared minus x squared equals x plus 2 minus 2 minus 2, which is x minus a. So a squared minus x squared plus a minus x equals x, uh, equals 0, sorry. And a squared minus x squared can factorized. It is a plus x times a minus x plus a minus x equals 0. Then we can check this out. We can take a minus x out, and in the bracket we have a plus x plus 1. Now we have two cases. If a minus x equals 0, therefore a equals x. And what is a? Nothing but square root of x plus 2. So, square root of x plus 2 equals x. x plus 2 equals x squared. x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And it can also be factorized. It is x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. x1 is negative 1 and x2 is 2. And in our second case, we have a plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now pay attention. a is square root of x plus 2, which means this is non-negative, so greater, greater than or equal to 0. And x is also a value of a square root, so x is non-negative as well. So that means a is non-negative, x is not negative, so a plus x plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 1. However, 0 is not greater than or equal to 1, so that means our this equation doesn't have any solutions. No real solutions. In our second case. Now, maybe you're going to say, yes, we only have two solutions, x1 equals negative 1, x2 equals 2. However, pay attention. We know that x is non-negative because it is a value of a square root. So that means x1 equals negative 1 cannot be accepted because negative 1 is negative. So that means we only have one solution, x equals 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. Yes, it is indeed a solution. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!